Hey everyone, Thomas Joseph here with another Kitchen Conundrum. Now, many of you have written in and asked us about different spice rubs, when you should use them, on what types of meats. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you two different delicious spice blends that you can use throughout the grilling season. So the first rub I'm gonna show you today is a really rich, smoky, intense rub that's really great with beef and pork. Um, you could even use it on chicken as well. It's one of my favorite rubs. Now to start, I'm gonna use coriander. Now coriander is a really delicious spice. If you don't have this in your pantry, I would encourage you to get some. Coriander, and this is ground coriander, is the seed from the cilantro plant. So it's a little kind of citrusy, I'll say, and bright in flavor, which helps to contrast a lot of the other spices we're using today. This is a quarter cup of coriander, and I'm just gonna put it in this bowl to mix all of the spices. A tablespoon of ground ginger. Now, ground ginger is typically used in a lot of baked goods, especially you know during the holiday season, but it really adds fantastic flavor in savory applications. It has that wonderful kind of spiciness that you know and love from fresh ginger. So that's one tablespoon in with our coriander. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of salt. So I would say that this rub here that we're making today in the quantities that I'm giving it to you for um, would be great for a giant piece of brisket on your grill or something a little bit bigger, like maybe a whole flank steak. Um, and if you have any left over, if you're only doing a small steak like I'm doing today, you can store this as well. To this, I'm gonna also add some paprika. This is one tablespoon of paprika. This is sweet paprika, but I would encourage you, if you're into smoky flavors, try out smoked paprika. It's used in a lot of um, Spanish dishes and it has a real punch of flavor and it gives you that um, grilled taste, even if you're not grilling outdoors, if you're just you know using it in the kitchen like I am today or you're using it in the oven. So that's one tablespoon of paprika. And then I have some cumin. This is one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. Um, cumin is a flavor that we know and love in a lot of Latin cuisines, uh, in Middle Eastern cuisine. And this is gonna add that depth of flavor, that richness that I was talking about. And you really only need a little bit of it. A little goes a long way. A quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And this is finely ground black pepper. You can grind it yourself if that's what you have at home, you know, one of those pepper mills. But this is it. Very simple spice rub. It may a little less than a cup of this spice blend. So again, if you're not using this on a bigger cut of meat, you can certainly store this in your pantry. I love doing this actually. I love keeping either a deli container or a baggie in my uh, pantry and I use it whenever I need it. Um, but the work is already done for me. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on a nice steak. This is a ribeye steak. It's about a half of an inch thick. It's a little shy of a pound. Um, I'll say I think it's around maybe 12 ounces. And I'm gonna sprinkle this rub all over the steak, coating all sides. You can pat it in to the steak. You can even let the steak um, sit with this rub for a little bit of time um, in your refrigerator. Now, whenever you're cooking meats, whenever you're grilling meats or cooking them on the stovetop or in the oven, you wanna make sure that they're pretty close to room temperature before they go on to heat so they cook nice and evenly. Just coat all of the sides of the steak. And then this is going right onto my preheated grill pan. Now, I'm not even going to add any fat to the grill pan or to the meat because this ribeye is pretty fatty and it's going to release a lot of that fat during the cooking process. So while that heats up, smokes up slightly, I'm gonna start my other rub, which is really fantastic on fish, on chicken, on even pork. It's a little bit lighter in flavor, not as kind of rich and robust as this version that I just shared with you, but it's one of my favorites. I really love it and it's bright in flavor. And it's bright in flavor because it uses citrus zest. So oftentimes when we think about spice rubs, we say, oh, okay, what's in my pantry? But you can also use items from your refrigerator to make really flavorful blends. I like to use lemon like I'm using here today, but you could use orange zest. That's really fantastic, especially paired with pork um, and even chicken. Orange is a great flavor to add. Sometimes I also grate some fresh garlic into my spice rubs, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll just end up storing them in the refrigerator, but that adds a real punch of flavor. And I'm using a microplane, just finely grating this lemon, and I'm adding it to a bowl with three quarters of a cup of coarse kosher salt. Now, 
We always use kosher salt uh, in our test kitchens and it's pretty coarse. Uh, we like the way, you know, the texture and the flavor. So if you're following any recipes from MarthaStewart.com, please realize that that's the type of salt that we're using. Um, it's not fine table salt. So pay attention to the recipe and make sure you have the right ingredients. So I'm mixing the citrus zest together with the salt just to kind of massage the zest in with that coarse salt. And what it's doing is it's helping to kind of release those wonderful oils that are in the skin of the lemon. And it's really gonna permeate this rub in a nice way. So that looks great. The zest from that one lemon should yield about two tablespoons of finely grated zest. To this, I'm going to add some other ingredients. Now, again, these aren't necessarily spices, but they're dried herbs, which are also really fantastic to use in a spice blend. This is four teaspoons of dried rosemary. I also have some dried thyme, three teaspoons of dried thyme three teaspoons of dried oregano. I love oregano. There are different types of oregano out there on the market. You can get dried Greek oregano, which usually comes on the stalk that has really fantastic flavor. There's Mexican oregano, um, or there's kind of like the classic supermarket Italian style dried oregano. I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar. This is a half of a teaspoon of sugar, which is really great in spice rubs. It's great in this kind of rich one that I have here on, a, on the steak as well, a little bit of brown sugar would have been fantastic to kind of complement those savory spices. And some paprika, again, this is half of a teaspoon of paprika. I wouldn't use smoked paprika here in this application because there are a lot of delicate flavors in this spice blend. Um, and I think the smoked paprika wouldn't really balance well. A half a teaspoon of dried chili flakes just mix this together. Now, this recipe yields a lot of spice rub, and I would encourage you to put this into a deli container or a storage container like I have here, and you can store it for the long term. Now, this only has lemon zest, so it can go right into your pantry. If you do add any of those fresh ingredients like I was talking about, like garlic, or you wanted to use fresh herbs, I would encourage you to store this in your refrigerator. So this looks, it actually looks really pretty. You can see all of the different elements to it. And this, as I had said before, really works well on a variety of proteins. I have chicken cutlets here today, but this would be fantastic on pork and amazing on seafood like salmon, even whitefish or shrimp. So a liberal sprinkling. Now this version, since it has quite a bit of salt, uh, you don't need to use too, too much of it. You wanna be judicious, but not overly so. This is what we call cooking in the air. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle this over the top. And this can go right onto your grill. Now, since these are so thin, we wanna cook this over direct heat for a short period of time. And it really smells amazing in here. All of the wonderful spices um, and aromatics are coming out into the air with the addition of heat. Store whatever you've left in airtight containers and they can go right into the pantry. Now I'm gonna let this cook up and when we come back, you'll see how delicious these are. So our steak has been cooking. It's perfectly crisp on the outside and it smells so wonderful and smoky and delicious here. Our chicken, which only took a few minutes on the grill, is nicely browned. And you know what? This amazing lemon spice herb blend would be really fantastic. Also tossed in with a little bit of pasta too. Maybe a little cream, a really simple but flavorful and fast dinner. Now, I always like to garnish whatever I'm making with the flavors that are, you know are in whatever it is. So this is lemon and herb chicken. I'm just going to drizzle some lemon over the top. A really great way to just kind of present this is to slice it on a bias and then transfer it to your nice serving plate. Dress this up with some herbs. Give it a sprinkling of flaky sea salt. I always like to add that at the very end because it has really great texture. Um, and it also is gonna add a punch of flavor as well. And you know what? I haven't given this as much time as I should have to let it rest, but maybe we could just take a slice off the end so you can see how wonderful this amazing, rich, smoky spice blend is. Oh my God, you guys. So great, it has a wonderful intense flavor and it only took a few minutes to cook. That's really the beauty of spice blends. 
they pack flavor to whatever it is that you're making. Now, we love hearing from you. We love the conundrums, so send them our way using the hashtag Kitchen Conundrums. And as always, enjoy grilling season and enjoy these spice rubs, guys. And as always, guys, click like and subscribe.